Peace, this is a meat and potatoes social production star myself, The Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is ATRs and you. ATR is an abbreviation which means African Traditional Religions. Now, the automatic assumption that many people make, which can be to their detriment, but one should not be discouraged is just because you are African American descent that you automatically should practice the ATRs. That's not necessarily true. And with saying that, I will say this, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Because we have to remember that Vodun, or introspection into the unknown, which is from Africa or Afiri Ike or Guru Uswa or any of the other native appellations. One thing about that, that was a response, a reaction to the Ma'afa and colonialism. So with that, we all know that African Americans pretty much, we know they're from West Africa, at least like 90 to 95%. But does this mean that you are supposed to practice the ATR? Well, you have to get initiated that. And that's not a bad thing because it teaches discipline. Now you have Bokors, which is like in the West Indies or Africa, and you have the Bazan, which is in Haiti. But sometimes you have to understand that you will be rejected by the Loa or the Orisha. So just because you have the African gene or DNA in you, that's not the only gene that many of you have. And I keep trying to explain this to people. When you come here, you have your ancestors, which is the genetic pool, and you also have spiritual parents and a spiritual line. Everybody that comes here, they're giving a certain skill set and a marker. Yes, I want to really get that across to the family. You're given a marker. Some people are born right-handed, some left-handed. Some with a birthmark, a cleft, dark eyes, light eyes. The spirits or the gods and goddesses, they will mark you too. You may not know it, but animals will know it. Cats, dogs, other sorcerers, and definitely other spirits. So although all spirits and gods rule over their terrain and all that, it's not like they don't get together, nor is it like that they don't do a solid. And people are infatuated with the ATRs as well as they should be. Like I remember in Brooklyn at the Yoruba Book Mind Center that was selling a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff from there. The complete works of Orumila, 16 Kauris, Ifa Divination and all that. So I, I know about the culture. And there was one book which offered pictures that was Harlem social and political movements in the 60s and the 70s. Harlem is a magical city, so people that were doing Santaia, Ifa, all that, they were around in the 50s in Harlem. And a lot of people stopping through that, a lot of people you may not think were stopping through, but they were. So, when you're doing this, you have to get initiated. The difference between the ATR, or African traditional religions, as opposed to others is that certain other pantheons are a little bit more open. Let me name them. Greek, I'm part of that. Roman, part of that. Egyptian, part of that. Even the Norse, is, they're closed off, but not like the ATRs. But the ATRs are very good. And the thing is, I'm going to put the family. Come closer, family. I love you. Come closer. Let mentor assist you right now. Just because you may not be included in that pantheon doesn't mean they won't do you a solid. They absolutely will do you a solid. Maman Bridget and Baron Soundio Samedi has done something for me because somebody did a reading and he was a Bokor. He said, I don't usually get both the Baron and Maman Bridget. He's fantastic. So they will do you a solid. He asked me, he said, who exactly are you? Look. One thing about me, I've been around long enough to know I will let you tell me who I am. If you're right, I will concur and echo your statements. 
but I've seen way too many James Bond movies to just give up all my 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 plans. I'm no, I don't do that. So that happened in my case, and and they did do me a solid. And the thing is, is that even if you're not a part of that, gods and goddesses, they sit around and they talk or whatever, and they do do favors. I got done a favor by Alegba, but Alegba had told me, Eshu, we're not your pantheon. And he knew exactly what pantheon it was because you have a marker when you come here. But let me take it one step further. And I want to summarily dismiss this thing that's been going around. And I heard this from the firsthand source themselves. Baron Soundy or Baron Samedi is not Lucifer. Okay, they're two different They're two different Individuals Spirits Gods And here's the thing though Do you know that they have A working alliance and If someone is meant to practice The so called LHP Or left hand path And they belong to Satan Lilith, What the Baron will do Is he will open up the door and send you to Lucifer or Lilith or Zazel or Belial or Bilal yeah the Baron will do that because him and Lucifer have a working relationship that is what they have so they'll do you a solid and I also want to offer this let's say you want to work with the Orisha Shango has many children here and if you want Shango, even if he's not a part of your path, but if he is, if you definitely want to get on his good side, Shango loves rum. Now, the rum I used to procure was Myers Jamaican rum. But also, one thing he has a weakness for is Popeye's hot wings. And there's a Popeye's everywhere. Now, if you were in New Orleans, that's even better. You want to know why? Because... They add more ingredients. Some of it magical. Don't tell nobody that Mento told you. But they do. So Popeye's Hot Wings. My Jamaican Rum. And you'll do alright. But the ATRs. It's more like the Marines. Many a call. Few were chosen. And that's okay. Because you have other pantheons. And don't think that. Because you're African. American which that could be Ghanaian, Yoruba, etc., that you have to go that route. You do have options, but even though you may not be a part of it, they will assist you and do you a solid in your time of need. And like I said, if you want books, you can read many books. You can read Secrets of Voodoo, Malo Regard. You can read Olo Dumare, God in Yoruba Belief, and that talks about that. You can get books on Santeria. So you have options and there you go as you go. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.